Hey my angels, it's Angie and it is a perfectly rainy day today. So I wanted to take you guys shopping actually. Um, excuse the way I look, it's so like, I look terrible. I just got out of physical therapy for my back and I thought why not go do some fall slash Halloween shopping. I am going to the at home, if you can see there. I'm parked at at home and this is my first time going to at home. I'm really excited. I've never stepped foot in at home before. Um, I never had one close to home, um, but there's one in the town that we moved to in last fall. So, and I haven't been in there yet and I'm so excited to try this store. So, um, I have been watching other people's like shopping channels and like Krista girl, she does like Halloween shopping, like all year round, I guess. So I've been watching her and she has found a lot of cute things at her at home down in Florida and I'm in Ohio. So it's taken a while for the stores up here to finally start putting Halloween stuff out. So we have fall and Halloween, of course, Hobby Lobby, like they get a head start on things, but I I went to Hobby Lobby and kind of like previewed things, but I didn't really like film anything. Um, didn't film, didn't take any pictures, didn't buy anything from Hobby Lobby yet um, this year. So I'll be back to Hobby Lobby, of course. I love Hobby Lobby, but I want to check out the other stores because they are finally putting things out. This is officially fall. Sunday was the first official day of fall. So this is September 25th. Yeah, today's Wednesday. So let's go check out At Home. This is my first time here. I'm super excited. Let's see what they have for fall and for Halloween. Hopefully they'll have some Halloween stuff in there. But um, yeah, I'm, I hope they have some pretty stuff for fall as well because fall is my favorite season. And um, I've heard they put out really cute Christmas stuff too. Christmas, I love Christmas too. I don't like winter, like I don't like freezing, but I love decorating for Christmas. So I'm gonna hold off on buying Christmas stuff probably until after Halloween happens. But, but if I see something that I want, I am not opposed to buying it now. I already started Christmas shopping, I'm not gonna lie. Um, already bought a few gifts. Not decorations, but gifts. Um, but yeah, let's go check out at home. Probably gonna pop into Joann's because it's literally right down the way. It's like next door. And in our town, we also have a home goods across, across the street. Um, I'm looking at a Home Depot behind us. I know they have Halloween decorations. And they have a really cute like spider lights that I wanna look for. Um, and then what else do we have? We have a Big Lots here. Big Lots has been, they've had their fall stuff out. Big Lots always has great fall stuff. Um, there's a Michaels here. You guys, this town that I moved to, they have, they have all the stores. <laughs> I'm and there's an Ulta. Oof, keep me out of Ulta. Keep me, I could... Yeah. Anyway, let's go. All right, right off the bat, when you walk in, they have Halloween stuff. <sighs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at these Jack Skellington pumpkins. Holy cow. These are huge. How much are these? $54.99. And they light up. Those are so cool. Those are big. That big old light up. Oogie Boogie, a smaller Oogie Boogie, $29.99. I like the bugs in his mouth. <laughs> Cute stuff. They have fall pumpkins, like right when you walk in. I like the pink, pink and then the orange and black ones are really cute. And blankies. Oh gosh, look at that Jack and Sally pumpkins. Those are super cute. $14.99. Wait. Are these bobbers? Yes. That's cute. 
cute. And so Jack one. Cheesy. Ooh, those big white pumpkins. Oh, look at the turkey. Wow, cute stuff. Look at this blow up. He should be a headless horseman, but he's a pumpkin man. Cute, I love it. Oh, I love the pumpkin patch. Holy cow, look at that big blow up stackable pumpkin. $199, that's not bad for a 20 foot colossal jack-o'-lantern stack. That thing is huge. They have Christmas out already. I'm not ready for this, you guys. <laughs> I wasn't ready for home goods. Oh, Bluey. Okay, I'm gonna look around and if I find anything that I really, really want, I will show you guys. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna show any more like shopping because this is just awful. Um, the lady when I was checking out at at home didn't even wanna put my stuff in a bag because I bought like metal signs and I'm like, the rain's pouring outside. Do you have any large bags that I can slip over these signs? It's pouring outside. Like, I don't want the rain getting all over my signs. So, my plan is to go over to probably Joann's real quick. I'm going to take a peek at the stuff that they have. And I'm going to buy some of that shellac spray to weatherproof these signs. They're really cute. I'll show you guys when I get home what I got. But I wore sandals because I was going to aqua therapy this morning. So I wore sandals. I had no idea that it was supposed to pour the rain like this. Their parking lot is completely flooded. Let this me show you. It's like flooding. And I just pretty much waded to the car. I took my cart over there. It's not too bad, but yeah, I walked through like all that fun stuff. I feel like I was crazy asking for bags. Like, is that typical at, at home? Like not putting your stuff in a bag? Never been there before. Anyway, they had a lot of Halloween stuff. Not a lot that I really felt like I needed to show. Um, lots of skulls, typical stuff like that. Um, blow up things for the yard, you know, the usual. <laughs> but Christmas, let me tell you, holy cow, I will be back Christmas shopping with you guys. Stay tuned for that. We'll wait till after the fall festivities are over for that, but I will be back to at home for Christmas stuff. Let's head to Joann's and I may or may not show you guys. I don't know. The people look at you weird when you're filming in the store, but yeah. Oh, and I found a, I found a Dutch oven. I found a five quart Dutch oven on clearance. So I'll show you guys that Dutch oven, but it's a white Dutch oven with like a bronze handle. I've been wanting a Dutch oven for so long and it was on clearance and then that made it $22.49. So I'm really excited about that. I know I went in there looking for like fall and Halloween stuff, but that was the first thing I actually put in the cart was the Dutch oven. So, yeah, bought something else for the kitchen. <laughs> okay, we are gonna brave this rain and just... I have an umbrella, but it's small. But we're gonna, we're gonna make a run for it. Yeah. Yeah, we were gonna go to the apple farm today, but good thing we didn't go apple picking. Cause that would have been awful. I'm sliding in my sandals. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, sorry for the horrible shot. All right, well, let's go into Joann's to see what they have. Uh, they got some cute light up stuff. I'm sure everybody and their brother's already been to Joann's and showed everything. Mm. 
Better you said? Cool. That's cute. <laughs> disco ball. Looks like a disco ball inside. <laughs> This is an interesting piece. I like that. That's cool. Some of those like bleeding handles. <laughs> if you're going for the spooky look. These guys are cute. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look around. Alright, so their Halloween food crafting supplies are half off as well. And I found this skull baking mold and it says that it is oven safe up to 450 degrees so I wanted to make some of those pizza skulls um, we had some at Halloween Horror Nights down at or Universal Orlando so I'm gonna get one of these it is how much are you $14.99 so it'd be half off that's a good deal. I was originally going to get one online that was like metal, but, ooh, look at that 3D one. That's cool. That'd be cool for like a cake. Um, oh, I have that cookie jar. I got it last year. Look at my jams all from last year. But yeah, I was going to get a metal one of these. Um, but yeah, the silicone, if it can do 450 degrees, that's cool. That'll work. And it's half off. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that skips. <laughs> I don't like it. These are cute. These would be cute for some brownies. Oh, we should do some, like, spooky brownies. How much is that one? $8.99? This would be $4.50. That'd be really cute. The baking stuff always gets me. Oh, he's cute too. Love that. All right, friends, we are back in the car. As you can see, I just bet like all my money at Joanne Fabrics. They're so expensive, but they always have so many good things. I bought a lot of things in the baking section and candy making section. So I want to make some cute things for Halloween. Um, and I also got a couple other things that I will show you guys when I get home. Um, my husband just got off work about 15 minutes ago. So I'll meet him at home and I'm going to do a haul today. So I will show you guys in just a few. All right. All right. Good morning. It's another day. It's actually two days later. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and continue this vlog and I'm embarrassed to even show my face because I woke up a little bit ago. I'm so groggy. The medicine I'm on for nerve pain is crazy, you guys. But anyway, I am downstairs. I'm going to, I already walked the dogs and everything. Um, I'm going to brush them and I'm just waiting for my mother-in-law to get up so that she can get her shower and get ready for the day. And then I can get these boys in the shower with me so I can shower the dogs while I'm in the shower. I have their pumpkin spice shampoo that I bought from Home Goods last year. So we're going to do pumpkin spice shampoo, aren't we, babes? Yes. I'm looking at Birdie. Let me, see. Let me show you. Are you going to get your pumpkin spice shampoo? Yes, we never use it on you, Mr. Cody. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. We only used the puppy shampoo on Cody last year. So he had like the oatmeal, like puppy shampoo because he was having some sensitive skin um, problems. But you had your pumpkin spice shampoo last year, didn't you? Yes. So we're going to use that again. You're going to smell so good. Oh, my goodness. Yes, so you're gonna get brushed. We're gonna get you all nice and silky smooth, ready for the shower. You go get shower. We have to wait for grandma to get her shower. Then you can get yours. Then mama get you a nice blow dry. You get your blow out. Oh, your face so fancy. Yes. <laughs> 
You guys are so cute. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, you got your baby? You got your Snoopy? Yeah, it's fun. So we're gonna do that. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys what I got at the store a couple of days ago. It was a complete washout after I left the store. It was just so much rain. Um, I might end up going to Home Goods at some point today. So if I do, I will show you guys that and show you if I get anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like broke out everywhere. We went to Florida and I sweated down there the whole time we were down there. And then I just, my skin broke out. So whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Who's a pretty boy? Oh, look at that baby. Look how nice you are getting brushed. Oh, you got little snaggles. All right, babes. You're gonna look so pretty. Yes, what a good boy. Oh, you got snaggle -doos. Oh, sweet baby. Hey guys, so okay, did indubitably find things at the home goods. Um, I gave the dogs their bath and I went out to the home goods. It was raining, I didn't want to show all of the mess. It was just messy, messy shopping weather, and it's just a hassle like trying to film and with it raining and everything. So, I figured I'd just come home and show you guys what I got. Um, and the babies did get their shower. They smell so nice with their pumpkin spice shampoo. I wish I could find more of that shampoo. Um, I did get that dog shampoo from Home Goods last year, and I have not been able to find more of it. So I did not find any more of that, but I did find several things that I really liked. And yeah, did not mean to spend that much, but oops, that tends to happen. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and show you. Oh, I also, yeah, I have to show you what I got from at home from Joann's and home goods now. So e all right, let's go ahead and jump into things. So I'm just going to jump into the home goods stuff here. The first thing is this adorable pillow. This was $14.99, $14.99. You did that cute pillow. I know, he's so cute. Uh oh, here comes trouble. You like that too? Yeah, it's so cute. So this is little haunted house pillow here with some bats and ghosties. And I like that the bat is like felt his wings like come out. You guys better not chew this thing up. It's adorable and it's so spooky at the bottom. Look how cute that is. I don't have anything like this. Um, I obviously have <laughs> Throw pillows everywhere but I thought that this was adorable so I got that we'll just set her up here that's so cute uh oh these guys should not be seeing this okay you're gonna have to get down because I don't want you to see this part um here let's show something else for right now all right so I got a really cute set of Ray Dunn spooky sheets. These are so cute. The pillowcases say boo on them. And then they just have like the punkies and the ghosts and boo. And I just thought that they look very dapper. So this is a queen sheet set. Uh, this was $19.99 so not bad for a sheet set from Ray Dunn so I'm gonna get this washed up and these are gonna look adorable on our bed so I'm gonna set those over here can you please get down I don't want you to see this next thing okay well we'll show we'll show the top toys last all right don't look in the bag so I was gonna save that for Halloween for them um Here's some coffee cups. These are so cute, you guys. You can see the little haunted house with the ghosties and the skeleton, which hey, you're knocking the you're knocking the selfie stick over. Get down off the get down off the stool. Get down. I shouldn't have to prod you. Cody was knocking us over. Okay, I'm knocking you guys over. 
Look at the little skeleton witch and then just cute little ghosties and bats and punkies. Sorry, bud. I know, I'm so sorry. Did I mean to have to shove you off of there, but you're okay. Then um, comes with the little sleeves there. $4.99 for these cuties and 12 travel club clubs. Travel clubs. But um, by a brand called Clementine, so... Yeah, these were super cute. Love those. Um, might not be able to keep your toys until. Yeah, oh, don't you get in that bag? Oh, this is so cute, you guys. I love this. Leave it alone. It's very breakable. Hello, kitty. Halloween jar. Look how cute she is in her little cat costume. I mean, it could be kit, it could be Kitty, it could be Mimi. I guess it is Hello Kitty because of the red bow. She's got her traditional red bow on there. And then look at the little ghost. Get out of that bag, sir. <laughs> look at the ghosts and the skull and the pumpkins. So yeah. I saw this. I had to have it. My gosh. I just love this so much. This little ceramic jar. This thing was $24.99. Eek. I know. I know. It is by Blue Sky Clayworks. Heather Goldmine. Hand wash only. But I had to have this. She is so beautiful. I can't wait to show this to Jeff. He hasn't, he has no idea. This is so dang cute, you guys. Thumbnail. Cheesy thumbnail. <laughs> I saw that and my heart was just like, yay. Okay. So, um, all right. Dog toys. These guys are about to go cray cray. Just stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Stay. Stay. Okay. Ghosties on a rope. Candy corns on a rope. You get the gist. Yes, they squeak. I'm not about to squeak these things because they're going to go nuts. They were $4.99 each. And I'm probably going to have to give them to them now because now they've seen them and they're not. And they're not going to leave me alone, are you? You're not going to leave me alone. Yeah, I know. So we'll probably have to take these off the packaging in a little bit and give these to these guys. So yeah, you got something too, honey bunny. All right, back in the bag for now. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, just wait a second. We're not done yet, okay? We're not done yet. There's some more stuff over here. I'm <laughs> BRB. Stay right there, Mr. Brody. Stay right there. I have no idea what to even do for this thumbnail now. I went freaking hog wild. Okay. Maybe I should just hold these bags up. <laughs> holding bags up on my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause. I think my husband's back with the pizza. We're gonna have dinner and then I'm gonna finish this haul. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, the next thing from Home Goods. I'm sorry, you guys, if I have to make a sudden run for it, I have a stomach ache from eating the pizza. Is this <laughs> ghost candy jar. He looks very happy to be holding candy or whatever you put in here, but I'm going to put candy in here. Um, he was $14.99. He's hand wash only and he is ceramic. I just thought he was really cute because I have a pumpkin candy dish like this and he's super cute. Um, he's backed up and stuff. I'm going to have to dig him out, but 
I thought that he would look cute next to my pumpkin and yeah so we have this guy here and then um along with him I also got ooh, another little ghosty that lights up and this one has a little purple pumpkin this one's really cute I like it kind of just has like a flickering effect with the lights so there you can see and I just thought this one was really cute with the little purple pumpkin that he's holding um yeah and he was also $14.99 so and he is by the um company Ghost and Ghoul so I know they make a lot of the cutesy decor. I don't know who made this other one. If they make the same. Mm, the other one does not say. It just says hand wash only and made in China. It doesn't say the company that made it. So, And then last but not least. I got this mini ghost mug and she is adorable and she's like iridescent so here's what she looks like and they did have canisters that were Minnie and Mickey um I have a Mickey ghost canister so I really just wanted the mini ghost mug I thought that she was really adorable with her little purple bow and I, I really liked the iridescent look on her. Um, this was $12.99. And it is a Disney product. Um, it says hand painted by Artesians. So there you go. They had these adorable mugs. Um, I'm sure this is hand wash only. There's a sticker covering up the bottom. But I would venture to guess this is hand wash only. And yeah, that's everything that I got from Home Goods. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got from at home. I have some rather large bags here from at home. Um, because I, I got some of the metal signs to go outside in the front yard. So this first one. Ooh. Damn. is this three tiered pumpkins with bats at the top and I thought that they were really cute with their the dogs are oh Cody is about to start barking so I thought this was really cute with the three little bats at the top and then the first one's the polka dot and then like the striping and then the other stripes so and then it just has the stakes to put it in the ground but this is really tall. Um, this is, what, like two and a half feet probably. Um, this one was $14.99 and it's by the brand Halloween Home, Homespun Halloween is what it says. Oh no, sorry. Honey Bloom exclusively at home. And it must be their, um, the line called Homespun Halloween. So there you go. So I got that. Uh, metal sign and then I saw I had an idea when I saw that one and I saw a couple other ones to kind of group them together so I got this guy to go along with those so he is a little pumpkin skeleton guy and he has this cute little witch hat with a bell on it and he has an adorable little bow tie and he's holding this lollipop here. And then he has just his little trick or treat pail. Let's see if I can fix this here. Got there we go. Messed up in the bag. So there's his little trick or treat pail and it does move like that. So, so there you go. He's also probably about two, two feet tall. So I thought he would look cute next to the pumpkin trio. And um, and then I saw this third sign. Let's 
that I thought would look cute maybe on the other side of the pumpkins. There it is, this little ghost. And he just has his little banner that says boo. And he's probably like maybe a foot and a half tall. So, and he has stakes to go in. They all have stakes to go into the ground. So I thought that this would look really cute out front, um, sinking into the ground. And then they had a lot of the garden lights um, on, on clearance. So I did find a spotlight on clearance. So I thought maybe like, I'm not sure if one spotlight is gonna work for all three of these, but um, hey, where's my spotlight? I know I, I know that lady rang it up. What'd she do with it? Hmm. Well, I was gonna show you guys the the spotlight that I got on clearance, but the dog put it in my bag. So the one that I got, told you guys about before that made it a big deal that I asked to her to put my stuff in a bag. Yeah, that one. Thanks a lot, lady. So anyway, here's the crock that I got. I'm in a really good mood now that I realized I got ripped off. Here's the crock that I got on clearance, um, half off. So this would be nice to use for baking things. Um, won't be going back to at home ever again, even though I saw stuff that I liked. My husband's smirking at me right now. Your customer service is terrible. So on to Joanne Fabrics where they were actually very, very nice and showed me where things were that I was looking for. Makes me want to take all of this back. All right. Well, excuse me, sir. I'm going to need you to watch out. Thank you. Okay. So I had talked about getting some food crafting stuff for Halloween. So I got some of these food molds. Guys, get out of the bag. And I smell the candy mold, the candy melts. Um, here is the mold that I showed you in the store, um, the treat mold. So this could be used for brownies, cakes, you know, whatever. But I thought these were really cute. These were half off, um, $8.99 regular price. So all of this stuff was half off. Here is the little candy mold with the different um, kitchen utensils. <laughs> I thought they were cute. So, what does it actually call these? It doesn't say. It just says 11 cavities. <laughs> Alrighty then. Here are the cute little ghosties. I am so wound up now. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep. Here are those little ghosties with the pumpkins and candy corn. One's holding candy corn, one's holding pumpkins, and one's just being cute. Here are these cute little like potion bottles. So there's what those look like. And I'm, I'm not joking. The ladies over at Joann's were actually very, very nice. Um, here is this silicone ice mold that is skulls, but you could use this for like candies, cake pops, um, anything along those lines because it does say on the inside that um, oven safe up to 450 degrees so there you go you can use this in the oven as well so you can use that for different things excuse me don't be digging around in my bag sir um, here is the silicone skull can I did end up getting that that I wanted to use to make those pizza skulls with. So there's that. And it's a nice deep, um, deep cavity pan. So that's nice. That'll work really well for pizza skulls. So we'll have to make those one night. And then um, more food crafting stuff. So I got, they had the candy melts on sale. Brody, you're gonna have to get down. He's like, for me, 
Um, these were three for nine. So I got orange, red, light green. Um, I got two of the white color, so white chocolate. There's two of those. And then I got a black. So these are all vanilla cho vanilla chocolate flavor. Um, and then I saw these little icing decor. I thought they would look cute on cookies, cupcakes, whatever. Um, whatever we want to make. But I do want to use the candy melts to make some candies with these molds. And then um, I... <laughs> I saw these like cake top sticks, so I thought it would be cute to use the, um, the try out the skull ice mold, um, to try and make some cake pops with it. So I don't know. We might try that out. Um, if not, we might just do some like traditional cake pops and then people have been making some really cute like Halloween ones. Um, so I might just try and make some cake pops, but then I got, uh, some of these detail brushes because I had like a 40% off regular price coupon. Um, so these were not on sale. So I was able to get these 40% off. Um, and I can use these for painting or for like food crafting. So I got these because these kind of brushes work really well. And like the candy molds that you need, like little detailing in so you can dip it in your melted chocolate and then you can you know detail with the chocolate so I figured we could use those for these or for Christmas you know Christmas coming up we want to plus last year I made a gingerbread house and I kind of want to try that again <laughs> so I'm sure I can use that for detailing on a gingerbread house again um, and then also I got some of these mini melting bottles. These were on sale too. So these are, these make it really easy to like fill the candy molds. All right. So I think that's all of the food crafting stuff that I got. Oh no, it's not. It's not all of the, oh, she double, double bagged this. Hang on. This one was a heavy bag, so she wanted to make sure it wasn't going to break on me. I saw this Easy Thin Dipping Aid from Wilton, so I got some of this. It just makes your chocolate melts um, nice and, like, silky smooth when you melt them so that it's, like, easier. It says, stir into your melted candy melts for ideal dipping consistency. So, there you go. So I got some of that and so for non-food stuff, um, I got some clear gloss spray. This is seals, protects, um, wood, metal, plastic, and more. So I got this for those metal signs from at home. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll keep the signs at home. Don't cross me again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be salty with them for a while which makes me mad because they really did have a lot of Christmas stuff um yeah so I got the that clear spray for those signs and then I got this air dry clay um it's Crayola air dry clay because I saw somebody do a really cute project with their dogs where they made like a pumpkin ornament they shaped it into like a pumpkin and then they did their dog's paw print on it. So I thought that that was really cute. And I kind of wanted to do that with the boys. Um, if I can get them to <laughs> hold still long enough for me to make an imprint, we can try it out. Um, and then a couple more things I got from Joann's was this t-shirt was 50% off. So it's just a Gildan 2XL like a lime green t-shirt and then they had this um glow in the dark like puff paint that was on clearance for 99 cents um 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it would be cute to make something for like our amusement lifestyle channel with it. <laughs> so I'm not sure, but I'm going to attempt to make something with that maybe for the haunt season. And then these socks were really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna buy socks from Joann's. I've done it before. <laughs> it's not the last. I always buy some socks every fall from Joann Fabrics, so they always have the cutest ones. But these ones have little doggies on them, and it says "Will do tricks for treats." And this one looks like Cody. <laughs> Actually, it kind of looks a little like Cody and Birdie. Does that look like Cody and Birdie? <laughs> it's cute. Um, and then this little bear with his pumpkin spice latte. It was just adorable. So those were two for five. I love their, um, I love their crew socks. They're really cute. And then I want to show you guys one more thing from Joanne Fabrics that my mom got me actually. Um, where is it? Let me find it. Oh, it's right here. So my mom picked up this pumpkin from Joanne Fabrics, like right when they put out their Halloween stuff and I've been waiting to show it to you guys. So it has, like, has this little ghost and it's just a black pumpkin with a ghost in it. And it lights up and it just illuminates behind him. But I thought this was cute and she got it for me. Oh, it flickers. <laughs> so this is like resin so it's not going to be able to go outside or anything so this is strictly indoor decoration um but he looks like he's doing like a dance or something he's doing like the wednesday dance <laughs> all right so that's all i have from joann's home goods and at home anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below let me know what your favorite item was. If you found any of this stuff at your local stores, let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.